Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR. Turn with me now to 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 15 through 20. 2 Kings 6, verses 15 through 20. Father, hide me behind the cross. Let it be none of me but all of you. Let everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. This is the second time I've had to redo this video because the third time, actually, because the phone died on me. So, Lord, have mercy. Let this phone last in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. St. Kings 6, 15 through 20. Thank you, Jesus. And when the servant of, of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, a host compassed the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto them, him, Alas, my master, how will we do? How shall we do? What are we going to do about it? Bless the Lord. And he answered, Fear not. But they that be with us are more than them that be with them. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is within you than he that's within this world. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And he answered, Fear not. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1, that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Thank you, Jesus. We are in protection because the Bible said that the angels of the Lord encamp round about those that fear him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite these people, I pray, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness. And according to the word of Elisha, and Elijah said unto them, This is not the way, neither is this the city. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led the men whom you... And he led them to Samaria. And it came to pass when they were come into Samaria that Elijah said, Lord, open their eyes of these men and they that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes, and they saw, and behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. God is going to blind your enemy, so when God blesses you, the enemy won't even see it coming. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And if the enemy can't see it coming, he can't do nothing about it. Bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Sorry to clear my throat there. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I've had my voice all week. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. The Bible says that Samson's eyes were burned out because of disobedience to God. He was in the enemy's camp. Judges 16, 21. And the king of Israel at the time when Jeremiah was alive, Jeremiah 15, 11, King Hezekiah's eyes were burned out after watching his sons be executed because he disobeyed the Lord. Either you're going to be able to bring a blessing or you're going to be blind to what God's doing. Either you're walking in blindness are you walking in blessing? Jesus said, can the blind lead the blind? If they do, they they all fall off the cliff. The blind can't lead the blind. Somebody's got to have vision. Without a vision, the people perish. So I want to talk to you about a blinding blessing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Look at it this way. In this time we are living in, there is two hands, like a watch. Those who are blind and those who are blessed. We are almost at midnight now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The good news is, or the God news as I call it, is if you have never been able to see in the supernatural, I pray at the end of this video you will. Genesis 19, bless the Lord. Genesis 19 and 10. You got your Bibles turned there again. Genesis 19 and 10. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Genesis 19 and verse 10. 
But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smote the men that were there, verse 11, at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. So when, bless the Lord, judgment fell upon the house of Sodom and Gomorrah, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. What happened? They were blind and could not find their way in the city. They couldn't find protection when the fire fell. My Lord, how about that today, friends? God has blinded the enemy of a place to hide. So God's going to put your enemy in plain sight, and you're going to be able to win the victory over your enemy. Glory to God. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. This is the message from the Lord that he's told me to give the body of Christ today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And the uh, one about the king in Jeremiah's time was Jeremiah 52, 11, if you want to look that up. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God blinded his enemies when the two men came to Sodom, and the enemy wanted to harm them. At the same kind of a th the same kind, bless the Lord, a thing of a blinding blessing happened to a fellow by the name of Isaac. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. When Isaac was aging and he could not see, excuse me, anymore. Bless the Lord. Genesis twenty two, eighteen through twenty nine shows us the story of a man who became blinded. His name was Isaac, meaning to laugh. Bless the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. And it looked like the thief got the blessing because Jacob's name meant deceiver. So it looked like the deceiver got the deliverance. He got the blessing. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Genesis 27, 18 through 29, you can go back and look that up another time after the video is already aired. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. What happened, though? The Bible said that his eyes were failing him as he was getting ready, bless the Lord, to step on into eternity and be with the Lord. And the Bible said that his son tricked him to get the blessing. People say, well, he stole that blessing. Actually, he conned his way into it. So legally, when he sold the birthright for a bag of beans to Jacob, Esau sold his birthright, the Bible says. So legally, it was a legal transaction. He became the firstborn by birth through the legal transaction of switching the birthright. But it was still a sin, and the Bible says that God gets the last laugh. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. But in the end, God got the last laugh over Jacob, who was Israel. Genesis 48, 13 through 15. Go there with me, if you will. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. This message is so anointed of God. I didn't know how God was going to do the message, but I'm so glad he did it. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Genesis 48, 13 through 15. Bless the Holy Ghost. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand, to Ephraim in his right hand toward Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand toward Israel's right hand, and brought them near unto him in Israel. Bless the Lord. Stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, and he was the younger, and he left upon him Manasseh's head. And he left his hand upon Manasseh's head, died in his hands right wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom may our father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me, bless the Lord, my life alone unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, bless the bless." the lads, and let my name be named of them, and the name of my father Abraham, and of Isaac, and let them grow, hallelujah, into a multitude in the midst of them. And when Joseph saw this, his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, and it displeased him, and he held up 
his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head under Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put the right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son. I know it. He also shall become a people, and he shall be great. But truly his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Holy Ghost. He had no idea, Joseph had no idea what his father had done to his grandfather, but the Lord set things in order that the first should be last, and the last shall be first. You're entitled to a blessing because one man went blindly into it. Because Jesus said that he came to give us black back the blessings of Abraham. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it was a covenant made. It's entitlement to who we are in God through the blood of Jesus Christ. We have the right to get our birthright back. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I know I've already preached a message on that before, but that just came in my spirit right there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God got the last laugh in that situation. That situation shows us just because you find yourself tricked into a blind situation, you find yourself in a blind spot in life, bless the Lord, don't mean you're going to miss your miracle. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Look at Balaam. He did not see the miracle in front of him till God opened his eyes at Numbers 22, 31. God opened his eyes to see what the donkey was seeing. Now, when a jackass is getting more revelation than a backslid prophet, you know something's up in the house of God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. That jackass saw more than that backslid prophet ever thought he'd see. He saw an angel standing in the path. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Numbers 23. <coughs> 20, 31. Thank you, Jesus. Numbers 23, 31. So we know, based on the Old Testament and the New, that we will see in a moment, that there is physical and spiritual blindness. John 39, John 9, 39 through 41. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Father, I pray that you'd open the eyes of everybody that they may see into the supernatural world and see as you have required them to see in the Spirit, those who have hungered and thirsted after it, that you know their heart can receive what they want to see. Let them see, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. John 9, 39-41. Thank you, Jesus. If you really want to see, repent of your sins and pray that God open your eyes. Some people can't see because they're spiritually blind. Hallelujah, Jesus. John 9, 39 through 41. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, For judgment I've come into this world that they which see not may see, and they which see might be made blind. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And some of the Pharisees which were there with him heard these words and said unto him, Are we blind also? And Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you would see you ye should have no sin. But now you say we see, therefore your sin remaineth. Meaning if, you're, if you no longer look at yourself as who you used to be, but look at who Jesus has made you to be, bless the Lord, thank you Jesus, then you will no longer be held responsible for who you used to be in your past. Look past who you used to see and look into the eyes of love and see who you are according to the Word of God. 
Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Sometimes in this life we need a second touch. The first touch was great, but sometimes the second touch has to come. Go to Mark. Thank you, Jesus. 10, 50, uh, Mark 8, 24. Mark 8, 24. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mark 8, 24. <clears throat> Mark 8, 24. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. After this, he put his hand, verse 24, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again, bless the Lord, upon his eyes and made him look up. And he restored and saw every man clearly. He looked up. He looked past the human vision and looked into a supernatural realm. And God the Father opened his eyes by God the power of God the Son through God the Holy Ghost. Open his eyes to see into a supernatural arena. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. So now he could see past the forest for the trees. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes it takes a second touch. And sometimes he is listening for us to give a praise shout. Luke 18 Mark, Luke 18, 38. Luke 18, 38. Oh, what a glorious message this turned out to be. Luke 18, 38. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Jesus. Luke 18, 38. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. And they which went there before rebuked him, and that he should hold his peace. Bless the Lord. But he cried so much the more, thou the son of David, have mercy on me. Thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Lord. And Jesus stood, he stood still, and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, <clears throat> he asked him, saying, what will thou I do for thee? Sometimes he's waiting for a shout of song. Sometimes he's waiting, bless the Lord, for us to tell him what to do for us. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And sometimes he's waiting to give us a second touch. So write them three down. A new touch, a, a shout, a praise, and finally what he wants us to do for him. Thank you, Jesus. Because the Bible said he sent his word and healed their disease so by the power of your words you pray to God from the truth and ask the Lord to, to give you a miracle. God will give you a miracle. Bless the Lord. He's just waiting for you to send the word. The Bible said concerning the works of my hands command you me. What do you want me to do? you got to speak up. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Don't be a whiny Christian. Be a bold believer and say God, I need this for your glory. And God will give it to you if you don't doubt. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Sometimes God has to blind people to get them to see the light. Acts 9 and 3, friends. Bless the Holy Ghost. Acts 9 and 3. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. <clears throat> Bless the Lord. And he so journey, and he came near Damascus, Acts 9 and 3. And as he so journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the earth and heard a voice say it unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Verse 5. And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. And it's hard for thee to kick against the pricks. The convictions 
of the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? Verse 6. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go to the city, and it shall be told to thee what thou must do. And the Bible says, according to the other scripture where Ananias prays for Paul to receive his sight, the Bible said, bless the Lord, that he put him on the street called straight. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But God had to knock him off his jackass to get him on his feet. Sometimes God's got to knock us away from a jackass mentality to get us to stand in the purpose of God Almighty in our own life. Bless the Lord. Bless everybody, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Amen. He put him on the street called straight. Shoot, look at this, and I hope this is now you right between the eyes. Bless the Lord. Luke 24. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Mark, Luke 24, 30 and 32. Luke 24, 30 and 32. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Luke 24, 30 and 32. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And it came to pass as he sat at meat with him, he took bread and blessed and break it, and gave it to them, and their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. Verse 32. And they said one to the other, Did our hearts not burn within us while he talked with us? But they, but by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures, and they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven gathered together in them, verse 33, and them that were with them. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Verse 34, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. This Simon, I believe, was the Simon that led him, lit him the tomb. Simon of Cyrene, I really believe it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So they were seeing Christ in a resurrected form. They were seeing Christ in a glorifiedness, a glorified body, talking with them. And they could not understand who he was because Revelation says, it said that his eyes were red as fire and his hair as white as snow. He was a different version of himself. His image had changed because all the torture that Jesus went through transfigured his hair to white because of all the torment that he went through to carry the cross for you and I. But seeing the joy to come that was set before him, he endured the suffering of the cross. It changed his very hair structure, but still it was the same Jesus that they knew and loved. And the Bible said his hair is white as wool. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And science has proven when somebody goes through enough stress and their hair will instantly turn white even overnight. But this is three days and three nights that Christ was in the tomb, friends. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. They saw a different image of Jesus. They knew in their hearts but could not see what they were talking to, whom they were talking to. The Bible Again, it gives a specific word concerning sight. Isaiah 29, 18. In the last days it does say that the blind eyes will see out of obscurity and out of outer darkness. It also says that the deaf shall hear the words of the book and the blind eyes shall see out of obscurity and out of outer darkness. My Lord, have mercy. Do you understand? Jesus even said when he came to the earth, he said, I've come to, re to give sight to the blind, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Not just physical, I love you, Holy Ghost, but spiritual as well. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus spoke about the issue of the obscurity in the eye in Matthew 7, 4 through 5. He said, you hypocrite, how can you take 
the plank from your own eye unless you first remove the speck. How can you first remove the speck from your brother's eye unless you first remove the plank from your own eye? Talking about hypocritical people saying this is what that person's going through. Look at how bad they are, and they're going through the same sin. That is a hypocritical person with a plank in their eye and a speck in the other. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And, you know, listen to this. It's going to hurt to remove the plank because it's more there to deal with. But the speck ain't nothing to take care of. Remove the darkness out of your own way and get into the light again for, of Christ Jesus that you may see how to help somebody else get their victory, their freedom, their deliverance. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Quit looking at yourself. It ain't about you. It's about Jesus. Glory to God. I hope that blessed somebody. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Here's something. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. The disciples, uh, hold on. Here is something I want, I'm going to show you every time Jesus prayed. He nor his disciples ever closed their eyes. John 11, 40. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. John 11:40 John 11 verse 40 chapter 11 verse 40 I love you Holy Ghost thank you Jesus And Jesus said unto her said I said I I not unto thee that if thou would believe us thou should See the glory of God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. So what does that have to do with seeing? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Well, here you go, verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I know that thou always hears me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And the Bible says later on down in this same verse that many who saw believed that he was the Son of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Matthew twenty six forty one. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. That the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray. Do you understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. And the Bible said again when he came to there the first time, he said, could you have not watched with me for one hour? Watch with me for one hour. Meaning he was wanting them to pray and watch. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Acts 3 and 4 said when John and uh, Peter healed the man who was blind at the gate, uh, crippled at the gate, he said, turn your eyes to us. Look into our eyes. And the Bible said he said, look into our eyes. Amen. Bless the Lord. And the Bible said they grabbed him and pulled him to his feet. His ankles instantly regained strength, and his bones did, and he jumped up completely healed. They were looking into the eyes of redemption through Jesus in them. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless your Lord. Bless the Lord. See, the glory coming, the glory coming through you will be strong enough to pierce the darkness in the other people. Matthew 5, 16 said, Let your light so shine before all men, that they may see your good deeds, and praise your Father in heaven. How? Through the eyes. Luke eleven thirty four. If your eyes be dark, your whole body is dark. But if your eye be light, then your whole body shall be full of light. 
Because, friends, really the truth is the eyes are the windows of the soul. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. Exodus 34 and 35 says that there was such a light. Exodus 34 and 35 says that there was such a light coming off of Moses that they had to put over him a shroud to hide his face from the light that was illuminating out of him, the light of God's glory, for he had been in the glory. And Acts 6.15, when Stephen was on trial, it says, go on to that one, Acts 6.15, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. If it was in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, it's for today is a testament too. Glory to God, bless your Holy Ghost. Boy, I hope somebody got blessed by this today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. And all that said in the council, Acts 6, 15, and all that said in the council, looking steadfast upon him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Meaning he was innocent. Stephen was innocent. He was not guilty. How would you like that kind of light to go into you in the court? When everybody says you ain't nothing but a liar and a sinner and you ain't no good, and all of a sudden you speak, Jesus said, and your face light up brighter than the morning sun itself. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Glory to God. The image of the fourth man was as a son of God because it was shining so bright. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But can you imagine, bless the Lord, at the mountain of transfiguration when the glory light hit them. Hallelujah. None of them could see because of the glory shining through them. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless you, Lord Jesus. And the Bible says that God has blinded those to the truth that would not believe. John 12 Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. John 12, 39 through 41. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. 39 through 41. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Therefore, they could not believe because the Isaiah said again, he has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their heart and be converted, and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah when he saw the glory, his glory, and spake unto him. Spake of him, the Lord Jesus. They wouldn't believe, so he allowed them to continue to be in doubt as long as they didn't want to believe. But if you really want to see the light, the light will pierce the darkness in your heart, and you will be changed because of the glory of God. Final scripture, friends, go to me, go with me to 2 Corinthians 3, 12 through 14. 2 Corinthians, bless the Lord, 3 through 14, uh, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. What was it for these men, y'all? They were living in the afterglow of the overflow. I love you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Second, <clears throat> Corinthians 2 Corinthians chapter 3, bless the Lord, 12 through 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Seeing then that we have such a hope, we, uh, we use great plainness of speech, and not as Moses which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But their minds were blinded, for until this day he remained the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which his veil is done away in Christ. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is still upon their hearts. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Remember, the veil was rent from top to bottom at the crossing of death into life. God took them from Sinai to Calvary. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And God said in his word, Jesus, God in flesh, said that he came to give sight back to the blind. Maybe you're blind in spirit. And maybe you've never seen in the spirit. Bless the Lord. And you want to see what God wants you to see. Maybe you've been blind to your blessing 
but the hour for your sight has come. Glory to God. Bless everybody, Holy Ghost, here in this word, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father God, for those who are backslid or lost, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I come I ask you to come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross, that God raised him from the dead. Bless the Lord. I am saved in Jesus' name. Wash me in your blood. Fill me with your spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father God, I ask you, Lord, for those watching who want to see into the Spirit, that you would open their eyes in Jesus' name, that they might see in the glory of God. Let them see the supernatural. Let them be a witness to your wonders, Lord. In Jesus' name, let them be a witness to your wonder. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Bless them, Holy Ghost. Lord, open their eyes that they may see. Remove the veil from their soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in Jesus' name, I curse every devil of sickness. I bind it and break its power off of their life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord Father God, I curse every devil of symptoms and sickness. I rebuke every spirit of pain and poverty off of their life. In Jesus' name, go free from them now. In Jesus' name, I command every sickness to be bound in the pit, never to rise again. According to Nahum 1, 9, the attack cannot come back. In Jesus' name, bless everybody listening, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, Father God, right now, I bind up the spirit of addiction over the life of the believer. Any addiction that binds you up, either the sun sets free, is free indeed. Right now, creative miracles for those who need a healing. In Jesus' name, amen. For those who've been bound up, I command the deliverance power, the breaker anointing to come forth. Now I curse the devil of addiction over your life. I break its power. We break its bondages off of your life. Every bondage of witchcraft, we break it in Jesus' name. Every word curse, we curse it and bind it in the pit of hell off of your life. We command deliverance in Jesus' name. Go free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, Jesus, you are the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, Father God, you also said also, Jesus, that out of their bellies will flow rivers, bless the Lord, of living water. Let the rivers begin to flow again for those who have a dry and dusty land of their soul. Let the river of life begin to flow in them again, bless the Lord. Lord, let it flow out of their belly. In Jesus' name, amen. Fire, 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 fire in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, bless them, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. There's a, an issue in the stomach right there at the belt line where you've been feeling like a knot or a cramp. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. You're healed in Jesus' name. You'll never have that again because Jesus just took it away. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless everybody, Lord Jesus. And thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and I love you with all my heart, friends. In Jesus' name, I thank God for each of you. In Jesus' name, let me know what God's done for you. Write to me. Let me know how the message blessed you. In Jesus' name, and and, and please hit subscribe to my channel. I would love for y'all to continue to follow me on my channel for the Lord to continue to bless you in the Word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. See you there in the next meeting or in the air. Amen. Love you. God bless. Bye-bye.